Hi everyone, I'm Georgiana, your English teacher, and I'm here to help you speak English fluently, with no grammar and no textbooks. And if you want to help me, it's very simple. Share the podcast with your friends and family. That would mean a lot. Thanks. Before you start listening, go to my website and get the transcript for free. Visit speakenglishpodcast.com slash podcast. Great! Let's start! Today, I want to share a personal story. It's about a special thing in my kitchen. My air fryer. Once upon a time, I cooked food the old way. I used pots, pans, and lots of oil. My food tasted good. But it took me a lot of time. And cleaning? Oh, it was a big job. Then a friend told me about the air fryer. At first I thought, what is this magic pot? But then I tried it. And wow! The first time I used the air fryer, I cooked potatoes. I washed them, cut them, and put them in the air fryer. I waited for a short time. When I opened it, what did I see? Golden, crispy potatoes. They were like chips but not too oily. I was so happy. The best thing about the air fryer is that it uses less oil, so the food has less fat. It's healthier for our bodies. And guess what? It still tastes very yummy. My family loves the food I cook in it. They say it's tasty and crispy. After the potatoes, I wanted to try more. I cooked chicken, fish, and even cake. Yes, a cake in an air fryer. It was so soft and sweet. The air fryer made my life easy. No more big pots. No more too much oil. No more long cooking. And cleaning? It's so easy. Just take out the basket, wash it, and it's done. If you like easy cooking, try an air fryer. Start with simple things. Maybe potatoes like me. Then try new recipes. There are many recipes on the internet. Also remember, every air fryer is a bit different. So, the first time, watch your food. Make sure it doesn't burn. After some tries, you will know your air fryer better. Today, I wanted to share my love for my magic pot, the air fryer. I hope my story helps you. Cooking can be fun, easy, and healthy. If I can do it, you can too. Thank you for listening. If you have stories or tips about your air fryer, share them with me. Let's learn together. Great! That's all for now. I hope you found this topic helpful. Let's continue with a point of view lesson. I will tell the same story twice. So make sure to focus on the changes. You can find these techniques fully implemented in my premium courses at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Okay, let's start. A few years ago, I met a woman named Grace. She was good at many things. She could fix bikes, make gardens look pretty, and solve puzzles in a flash. But when it came to cooking, 
It was like her secret weakness. Her kitchen felt like a battleground, with pots and pans clattering as if they feared her. The toaster had a direct line to the fire department, and the smoke alarm was her frequent companion. Friends and family tried to help, but even boiling an egg was challenging. One day, while searching online for an easy dinner, Grace discovered a miracle. An air fryer. What's that? Grace wondered as she looked at the strange machine. After a few clicks and her credit card information, it was going to her home like a hero on a mission. The day arrived. Curious, Grace unpacked the air fryer like a child opening a present. The instructions were like a little book, but Grace was determined. She put on her apron and was ready for the adventure. Her first test was French fries. An easy start, she hoped. She placed the potato sticks in the fryer pressed the buttons like a game, and waited. To her surprise, no smoke, no disaster, just a low noise from the machine. Could it be that things were changing? As time passed, Grace paced around like someone waiting for a friend. The excitement was real. Finally. There was a beep, and she opened the air fryer. There they were, crispy and golden. Grace's heart leaped with happiness, a feeling she'd never thought she'd find in the kitchen. With new courage, Grace began to explore cooking more. She roasted vegetables, cooked chicken, and even tried baking. The lesson? Even if cooking isn't your best skill, an air fryer can change the game and make life tasty. Okay, let's listen to the story from Grace's viewpoint. Hi, I'm Grace, and I am good at many things. I can fix bikes, make gardens look pretty, and solve puzzles in a flash. But when it comes to cooking, it's like my secret weakness. My kitchen feels like a battleground, with pots and pans clattering as if they fear me. The toaster has a direct line to the fire department and the smoke alarm is my frequent companion. Friends and family try to help, but even boiling an egg is challenging. One day, while searching online for an easy dinner, I discovered a miracle. An air fryer. What's that? I wonder as I look at the strange machine. After a few clicks and my credit card information, it's on its way to my home, like a hero on a mission. That day arrives. Curious, I unpack the fryer, like a child opening a present. The instructions are like a little book, but I am determined. I put on my apron and I am ready for my adventure. My first test is French fries. An easy start, I hope. I place the potato sticks in the fryer, press the buttons like a game, and wait. To my surprise, no smoke, no disaster, just a low noise from the machine. Could it be that things are changing? As time passes, I pace around like someone waiting for a friend. Finally, there's a beep. 
and I opened the air fryer. There they are, crispy and golden. My heart leaps with happiness, a feeling I never thought I'd find in the kitchen. With new courage, I begin to explore cooking more. I roast vegetables, cook chicken, and even try baking. Even if cooking isn't your best skill, an air fryer can change the game and make life tasty. Great! I like these kinds of stories because they're easy to remember and help a lot with learning English. And humor also makes learning more enjoyable. You can find this method in my premium courses. Take a look. Visit speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Also, if you want to help me, share the podcast with your friends and family. That would mean a lot. Thanks. See you soon. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.